Hello all, I am Kansam Sheik and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will have a quick look on Azure Event Grid, a very important component being added by Microsoft. This new service brings a fully managed intelligent event routing mechanism that allows communication through the publish subscribe model. On one side, that will be a sources that generate data and raise an event. And on the other hand, there are interested parties consuming the data by responding to this event. Here, Microsoft is integrating a variety of Azure services with Event Grid that acts as an event sources. Now, consider an application subscribed to an event and topic may be notified each time a new virtual machine is provisioned, or a new image has been uploaded to a cloud storage, or a new data has been added. Anything. It is really up to the application on what it does with this data. For example, it can acknowledge the arrival of new data by sending out an email notification and so on. So let's quickly have the demo for the said example. Here we will be creating a logic app accepting HTTP requests and once the request is received, we will send out a mail through outlet.com to, con to the configured email ID. So let's go to portal.azure.com uh, let's open up a logic app so for in this uh, interest of this article I have already just created a logic app and we'll start uh, as we need to accept an HTTP uh, message to an HTTP request we'll start with this connector okay now here I assume that uh, uh, we all know how the logic app works so for this uh, I will be using this data uh, sample data which has been provided by Microsoft's Azure portal or uh, the blog in the documentation section so let's add this as a sample schema and let's make the method as post. We will require you posting a message over here. Okay, so once you save it, and once it gets saved, it will create an HTTP post URL. This is this. Just copy this URL. Now, what uh, will happen once the data is being posted to this HTTP URL? So, what we will do is we will add an, another connector. Saying that. Uh, outlook.com here it is you can use any of the other connectors which send out mails but I am using outlook.com for sending a mail so I have configured my email ID as you can see if you have not your configured your email ID or you will be coming uh, opening this for the first time it will ask you to configure uh, your email from which it will send out the mails so it will ask for password and some uh, permissions to having like to sending out mails and so on so let's send this mail to the same email ID uh, let's make the subject as uh, record number ID as being added and body would be for your reference this is the body and click on save so we are done with the our logic app designing so what will happen is uh, if any message is being posted with this the schema which we provided under this uh, HTTP request is posted is received at this end it will send out a mail to this configured email id and with uh, this custom subject and body which we defined over here so let's go to our event grid topic let's create a topic so it already i have created one topic uh, let's subscribe to this topic now and this subscription endpoint would be our HTTP URL which we uh, which was generated in logic apps so that 
whenever we post an event or a message to this endpoint or to this event topic endpoint, it will route that message to this subscribed event in it. So let's name it as uh, sub logic. Okay. Uh, event type is all subscriber. Uh, no need of entering this filter as of now. Let's create. So within few seconds, uh, this will get deployed and this will uh, get added to its subscription list under this event topic. Here it is. So now let's do one thing. Let's send a post a message to this topic endpoint. Yes. I'm for posting the message. I am using Postman. So make it as a post. Enter the URL. Uh, we would need a key. We passed as a header. Let's add that value over here. Okay, and we'll keep the same body, uh, which uh, we have added as a schema into our logic app HTTP connector. So we should get a mail like record ID 1825 is being added and so. So let's send it, post it across. Cool, we got a status of 200, okay. Now, let's see our mailbox where we got received an SMS, uh, sorry, mail. <laughs> oh, great. So we got a mail over here. As you can see, record 1825 is being added and if I are the entire body. So as you can see, you can uh, at the end you get this line like topic with subscription, subscription ID with a resource group, resource group name as R&D and provider was event grid and the topic name was R&D topic. So this message, we got a notification. Uh, we'll just have a look on our logic apps. And you can see it is succeeded as we got the mail. So event grid is uh, much lighter than other messaging services available in Azure. So the customer can start building and deploying microservices and serverless applications on Azure and they will start taking advantage of event grid for intra service communication. Hope you like this video. Yes, kindly subscribe to my channel and share this video across. Thank you. Happy Azure coding.